Hey, it's Jagu from WildmanTrain.com. Uh, did another step out workout variation today. 250 step ups with a 40 pound weight vest on. Uh, the goal was to do 50 each leg. I had to be able to do, I wanted to do 20 per leg every minute at least. 20 minute, 20, 20 step ups each leg for one minute which would take me to what I wanted to get to. I wanted 250. Uh, the last two sets I did 25 and 25. I did. I kept up with the 20 step ups on each leg. And I wound up with 250 in 9 minutes and 37 seconds. The goal was 10 minutes. And I really had to push hard. And you have to pay attention when you're going that, with that clip. And like I said, my bench is 15 inches, which makes my leg parallel to the ground. Well, it's, it's a le you know, my leg's parallel, so I have to pay attention when I'm putting my foot on the bench because when you get tired and you're moving fast, you have a tendency to not pick your leg up far enough, and yet you can trip over. You can actually trip on the bench and screw you up. I mean, you can catch back up, but you don't want that because it takes you right out of your rhythm. A lot of times, I'll I'll wear ankle weights, just 10 pound ankle weights, 10 10 pounds on each leg, and just the weight being around my ankles takes makes the whole workout a completely different workout. Uh, you got to use different. You got to be aware with you know that you have that ankle weight, so it's working a lot of the hip flexors when you're picking your leg up. So, believe it or not, ankle weights I've said before make or break a workout. These workouts I do. Some of them I do longer. Some of them I do shorter. The shorter ones I do obviously more intense, as as intense as I can to where I'm having a tough time breathing. They become anaerobic, actually. I don't do too many aerobic-style workouts, except maybe when I'm climbing hills and things like that. But I'm still breathing quite heavy, and that's what I want to do. I want to build more of an anaerobic-type conditioning than an aerobic-type conditioning, like jogging or things like that. Even when I hit the heavy bag, you know, I do my circuit, my one minute on, and then step ups. It still becomes an anaerobic-type workout because it becomes very difficult to breathe after a few minutes. And I continue to push it to that limit. Now, like I said before, I train the way I train for my experiences. And being a blue collar guy and what I've had to deal with all my life was either lifting moderate, light to moderate weight, hundreds of times a day, or moderate to heavy weight, you know, throughout the day. So when you train, when I train, I train differently. I train sometimes longer, sometimes I train shorter. Real world, that's the way it is. Not every not every workout needs to be a marathon. Not every workout's got to be a world record. Not every workout's got to, you know, mean a whole lot. You want to get out there and you want to move. And I do know the step ups. I do a lot of step I do a lot of stepping. I step up walk up a lot of steps. I walk up a lot of hills. You know, whenever you're moving furniture, you're walking up and down steps. I mean, it's just part of life. It really is, and people just don't do it. How many people get in an elevator instead of using the steps? How many people use the escalator instead of using the steps? I don't use the elevator. I go to a hotel, and I'm on the third floor. Guess what? I'm carrying my luggage up the steps to the third floor, always. Matter of fact, when I'm, I'm with my brother or other people, unless it's my wife and my you know, there was my grandkids, they, they love the elevator, but my, my brother, his friends, we ever go up to a hotel, we're out together, we always climb the steps, you know, because they know I'm not taking the elevator, you know, so that, you know, I lead that way and they do it. I don't think they like it all the time, but hey, you know, that's who I am. Like I said, anything can be a workout, and I don't park as close as I can to the store when I go in. I park actually the farthest away, and I get usually, my wife would say, why don't you park closer? I was like, why? We're only going to go in the walk around anyhow. So I just go to the, the first spot I see. It could be a half a mile away. I'm just parking there and we're going in. And that's the way our lives are lived, basically. You know, picking your kids up, your grandkids, carrying groceries, moving furniture. I mean, in the yard, raking leaves, digging ditches, carrying shit, mulching, digging ditches, uh, you know, shoveling. It, it's just part of life, you know. It's winter time. So it's going to be winter time soon. Some people have probably already shoveled snow. Shoveling snow. I mean, people die of a heart attack every year from shoveling snow. It's not the act of shoveling snow. It's the act that these people don't exercise until it fucking snows. I talked about hunting season. Men, 
will die out in the woods after killing a deer, dragging it out. It's not easy to drag a 100-pound, 120-pound deer out, you know, through the brush over, you know, fallen trees and branches. But people just don't see it. Like when I was on a loading dock, I said it, man, we lifted a lot of things. We dragged a lot of things with pallet jacks. We had feats of strength. We'd co compete against one another. We had, we played sports. We played uh, dock hockey with, well, with, on Friday nights, we'd, when, when it was all closed, we'd clear the freight out and we'd play dock hockey, street hockey on the dock. We would uh, have wrestling matches. That was a regular routine. Uh, we would do things like sumo. It was actually sumo matches. Uh, guy would just, guys would just get a hold of one another and just see who could push each other around, just push them across a dock or into a trail or, you know, not actually going to the ground, just, just pushing off each other, just, you know, trying to see who can get the fucking best of one another. I mean, these are just my experiences and, and, and basically what, the way I train. Um, I want somebody to hold on and get a hold of me and know that they're going to have a tough time here. They're going to, they're, they're going to feel some strength. They're going to feel it. And even when I was training with my buddies before I moved to Pennsylvania, I'd train with uh, some police and some policemen and a few of my buddies and my buddies would, uh, where the policemen would get a hold of me and they'd be like, man, you're like rooted to the ground like a tree. Well, it's because of the way I train. I train, you know, to be functional. And I'd never realized that I almost always have, except when I was actually in the gym doing heavy squats, bench presses and things like that. And uh, so anyhow, that's just another workout I did today. Simple 250 step ups, 40 pound weight vest, nine minutes and 37 seconds. Goal was 10 minutes, you know, accomplished. It was a great workout. I'll talk to you.